so much fun. Look at that guy. Yes, 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 yes. Nice white fish there. Nice, there we go. It's a good way to get started. Hey guys, it's Carl. Today I'm doing one of my favorite things and that's long rod. I got my big 13 foot steelhead rod. Long rod fishing for white fish. If I can get them under control here. They are so hard to handle these things, but look at that. Nice big white fish there. Nice way to get started. This is awesome. I love this so much. Number two. This is this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, they're so hard to they're hard to show you. They just don't stop wiggling. And they're so slippery. Wait, look at that one. That's a good one. So many of them in this lake. So much fun. These fish are so underutilized in most systems and uh, really good to eat. These ones are going home for the canner and if you haven't seen me do, I have a video on canning these guys as well, but yeah, really, really like these guys canned up. You can eat them fresh or uh, can them up, but if you try and freeze them, they don't freeze well at all, they get all mushy. So yeah, either eat it fresh, which would be awesome, or yeah, we're gonna put them in jars. So, But yeah, awesome fish. So it's going to go over the, the technique and the gear I'm using here in this video, but I decided to do a whole nother video just specifically on the whitefish techniques, the gear I'm using and, the, and what I'm looking for out here in the lake. So if you're interested in that, it's, there's a link in the description below to that video. Now back to the action. What a great day. It was so cold this morning. I thought it's either going to be really good or really tough. And so far it's been really good. Minus one when I got up out of my tent this morning. And uh, it's warmed up to about 10 now. But look at these guys. Another just awesome, nice whitefish. Man, they fight hard. They bite so delicate. They're so delicate that way, but then they fight like crazy. Yes, another one. A little bit smaller one this time. Right in the beak again. Oh, come on, come on. There's a little guy. We don't often get them small like this. This is about as small as we ever get. I don't understand what it is about this lake, but they're always pretty big. We rarely catch small ones. And uh, but yeah, still a good fish, but it is a little smaller than the average here. 
know what it is about watching a float like this, but I can just do it for hours. Like, I don't get bored of it. And, uh, you know, I can't troll. Trolling drives me crazy. I can't. There's some things I just can't do because it's just too boring. But watching a float, which you would think would be super boring, it just, it just the anticipation, the constant anticipation is awesome. But it also just lets me, I think it just gives my brain something to focus on rather than being all scattered and going 100 miles an hour like it normally is. And I think, yeah, just being able to focus on something, which also just frees up your thoughts to think about important things and real things. So I don't know. I'm very, have to be active participant in fishing. Like again, I, I can't, trolling and stuff, I just don't enjoy that. I, I just have to be doing something, casting, working a bait, doing something, I'm always doing something. And that's the kind of fishing I really love, but what, for whatever reason, this is the totally opposite. And I still just love it. Just the fact that I can just, yeah, kick it down a couple gears and just slow down and focus on something. And again, it just gives me ideas, frees up my brain to think about other important things. And, and it can be, often I find this is where I'm more creative is when I'm slowed down and more focused on something. I can be more creative at times too. But yeah, I just love this. I love this. Maybe it's the surroundings too. I mean, look at where I'm at. It's fantastic. But yeah, there says something about this whitefish fishing. I absolutely love it. There's another one. It's been a while since I got a bite. I was kind of getting worried. I thought maybe it was over, but there's one more. Okay, not a real big one, one of the smaller ones of the day, but just such an awesome fish. What a beautiful evening too. A little breezy, but it sure has warmed up from the minus one this morning. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, what a good day I'm having. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, they just pull, 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 pull. Look at this thing go. Wow, that one took some line. Now he's coming right back at me. Oh, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm not ready yet. That's the last one I'm gonna keep. Let's get him unhooked. And that's it for me. I don't, the limit is 12, but I don't need 12. I got nine now. Well, I'm gonna end it with this one. And that's another good one for the box there. And uh, the limit's 12. I don't need 12. I'm not gonna take 12 home, but I've got a nice bunch of fish to clean up for the canner. So I'm pretty happy with the day. But yeah, I just enjoy this so much. It is so much fun for me to get out here and do this kind of fishing, the long rods and the center pins for these whitefish. I just love it so much. So I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I did. I hope you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I hope I'll see you outside.